What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. And today, we're doing a video on tinting my windshield. Yeah, tinting my windshield. As you can see, I've already prepped by removing my sun bar. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my past videos, I had two layers of 5% as my sun bar. I removed that today. At the shop, I did a little prep. As you can see, I've taken off my pillars. Uh, up here too, they're in my back seat. My car's a mess. There's junk everywhere from taking this car apart. But I've got the uh, I got the side pillars off, so it's easier to get the tent back there. As you can see, the airbags and whatnot are exposed right now, but it'll be easier to get the tent back there with a the sheet that big. I'm driving at night a lot more, and the headlights and people driving with their brights, all that stuff is just becoming like unbearable. So I'm gonna throw a layer of 50% on my windshield to hopefully, you know, dampen the effects of you know those headlights and all the stuff at night that is just way too bright. And then after that, I'm gonna reapply my two layers of 5% as my sun bar. So now it will be even darker of a sun bar because I will have 5%, 5%, and then 50% on the bottom. So I'll have three layers of tint as my sun bar. I will probably make a video on, you know, layering tints. But for today, we are gonna work on tinting my windshield. I gotta pop this. Um, I gotta pop this rear view mirror off, and then we're gonna start cleaning the window so I could shrink the uh, tin on the windshield, and I could get it on the inside. Cut myself, taking that off. It's fine. I'm on. Uh, Bandage it up, but I, I gotta get I gotta get the rest of the glue residue off. I'm probably gonna spray some. Um, I'm gonna spray some glass cleaner down there, scrape it, and then honestly, I'm gonna get my tin solution ready and prep this windshield. Cause you look out the windshield all day, so you don't wanna be looking at that crap underneath the tin. So make sure your windshield is clean as possible. As you can see, I shrunk this corner. See, that's what we're getting for. We're getting all of these fingers out to make it a flat piece of tin. As you can see, I gotta work up here and the rest of the windshield. It's probably gonna take, you know, a good chunk of time, so in order to save time and save the video, you, say you get the process. I just gotta do the whole windshield. So I'm gonna do the whole windshield, and then when I'm done, I'll be back to show you this. So. What's up YouTube? Uh, it's been a long 
crazy week with this window tint. When I was tinting it in the garage here, I ended up, this camera died, it died. So the camera died and after that, um, off camera, cause it died, I didn't go get a new battery, I was just gonna finish the tint and do this video that night. But the camera died and then I ended up creasing that sheet of tint. So that didn't work out. So I had to go get a new sheet of tint cut, cut the new sheet and then uh, me and a guy at work, he helped me out, uh, you know, it's a big sheet, so he you know, helped me get it all situated on the windshield. We, uh, and we got it installed. Just, you know, same process, just, you know, a different day off camera because this one died. And then this also happened to this camera. Yeah, I gotta send this in for repair, but I'm gonna do that another day. Uh, and I've been waiting all week, contacting Canon, see what they can do, see if I can just take it to a store, return it, whatever, but uh, I'm gonna send that in for repair. I'm probably gonna buy another camera in the process, but in the meantime, I'm filming this video on a GoPro to get this you know, finished up and we can get this posted. Uh, but I'm gonna show you the finished product of this windshield that is tinted, honestly compared to a windshield that's not tinted right next to it, uh, so you can see it. And it looks very good. As you can see, you can't even see the chairs right now. You can't even see it. Right there, you see it's very reflective. But you can see, you can hardly see, and you can just see the little trees. You can't see the chairs. You can hardly see the steering wheel. You can't see it at all. This is with 5% tint on the sides, as you can see how reflective this is but you can't see in and right there you can see here's the um it's a little you know the sun but you can see the difference back in the shade here i wish i had my you know g7x to get a better uh shot but you can i don't know if you could tell but you could see in there you know you can see the chairs you can see the headrests in the back you can see it all you can see past the rear view mirror on this car you can see my little trees hanging with the 50% tint on the windshield. Bring it in here. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So now I've got 5%, 50%. I had to remove my sun bars like you saw in the beginning of the video. 5%, 5%, 20% on the back. So this is what we're dealing with, 50% windshield. I'll show you what it looks like with the window rolled down. You can see daylight compared to the 5% natural light, 50% tint. As you can see, there's the difference. There's a difference between you know 5% natural light and 50% tint. And that's probably the best representation I can give you of how it looks with the tinted windshield. With the windows up, it's really cozy, really comfy in here, and I honestly love it. I love the whole tinted windshield aspect, and I honestly tint it because it gets dark earlier here now, and you honestly, in the morning, you just get blinded because people don't know how to turn off their brights. People have the new, the new cars with the HIDs that move with the road, which is the worst invention ever, because all they do is scale right up your car, shoot you right in the eye, and uh, it's the worst thing ever. So that's all that happens around here. And it, you know, ticks me off because I'm in the morning, 6.30, whatever, going to work. And you don't want to get blinded that early in the morning. It just it honestly ticks you off because you're like, really? So this is nice. It really, you know, obviously it lets 50% of the light in. So you're taking that full, you know, headlight that's shooting right in the eye. And you're taking only 50% of that light. So it's very nice. And uh, it helps out a lot. And I know a lot and a lot of you are gonna be asking, well, what's it like to drive with the windshield tint? Can you see, is it easy, is it hard? I'm going to make a video of driving with it during the day and driving with it at night in the upcoming weeks here. After this video, I'm actually gonna be filming another video that'll be posted very soon. So check that out as well on how to install heated seats in your car. So I'm gonna be making that video right after this video. See, that's what I said. I'm sorry for the delay in this video because I've been working with Canon on this ca this camera that is um, malfunctioning right now. So it sucks, but you know, I'm gonna do do I'm gonna deal with it as I uh, 
as I can, and I'm going to be filming on this GoPro, which isn't my first choice. Uh, but I want to say thank you guys for watching. I'll be making a video soon about driving with windshield tint, and I hope you guys check it out. If you guys haven't been here before, please click subscribe. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.